Good day, and today we're going to cover how to remove the footer from Divi completely. So on our example site here, this is from a previous video, you'll see that we have the standard Divi footer, which is fine, but you'll almost never see this on a real site because it has random bits of data like meta, categories, archives. Usually if you're building a regular site, you won't use this for a blog. This may be totally fine for you, but in most cases we don't want this so if you want to completely remove that, and you can feel free to add one later, but to simply remove it, all you have to do is go to Divi, Theme Builder, and go here to Add Global Footer, Build, go Build from scratch, and essentially what we're going to do is build a footer that's technically there, but it takes up zero space. So we're going to insert a row as directed not going to insert a module, and then I'm going to make the row, starting with the row first, that way it's easier to hit the buttons. I'm going to go to design, and sizing, max height, zero, there we go, and that should make that super skinny, oh sorry, that's min height, max height, zero, check that off, now it should be super skinny, yep, and then for the section itself, sizing, max height, zero. Check that off. And if we hit save here, and also one thing to double check is that our spacing both margin top and bottom for both the row and the section are set to zero. So there's definitely some built-in padding and spacing with all sections and rows, and there's a chance that it would still apply that, which it was. See, now it's just a straight line, and now for the section, same thing. Although the content is max height zero, there's still spacing around it, which is problematic. So if we link these two values together, zero them out, same down here, link them together, zero them both out at the same time. You saw it jump up there, and so if we hit save here, now it's all one very hard to click line. If you ever did have to go and make changes, I highly recommend using the scaffolding view, because in the front end view, now that we've zeroed everything, it's all this one line, it's impossible to click anything. That's why I said I wanted to start with the row first so I can actually click those buttons. So anyhow, we've hit save there. Now we're going to close out of here and hit save right here. And so now, if we shift refresh on the front end of the site, the footer is completely gone. And now it's just our content. And that is literally how easy it is to remove the footer from Divi using the wonderful new theme builder. Now, the one... Um, kind of bonus is if you want to have a footer on just one of your pages, say just this home page here, because we've done our change in the theme builder, you can say add new template, apply it only to the home page, create template, and then you can unlink the global footer. So you can say, you can either disable global and then go in and edit this and it won't edit the um, zeroed out footer which applies to the whole site, or you can completely delete this and say add custom footer and instead of use global, you just say build custom footer. And then you can add whatever elements you have inside your custom footer. I'll do a super basic dummy footer here for sake of demonstration. I'll insert a two column row. And in the first column, I will add a text section. And if we remove all that, I'm going to add an unordered list. I'll say link 1, link 2, link 3. And then I will... <laughs> I'll just link one of these two. Actually, I'll link them all to hash without having to actually create the pages they link to. So there are those links. I'll just leave that as is. And then on the right side, I will add an image and it will be our Instagram logo that we used in the header of the site. 
It's an SVG, so it'll probably be ginormous. Yes, it is. So let's real quickly add some dimension to that in the sizing. Max width, 300 pixels, please. Not even. It's a square logo, so I guess 150. There we go. Module line right. That looks good. And lastly, let's add a background to this here. We'll get fancy. We'll do a gradient background. And we'll select the first color to be white. I'll just do it down here. Eh, not quite. I'll type in FFF. There we go. And the second color will be our... Firstly, there we go. We'll go with our black. And gradient start position. Let's do that a fair bit later so we have a bit more white behind the links. There we go. And that's about all we need to do. So now if we save that, this only applies to the home page. So we'll see it on our test page. So once that is a check mark, close this guy. Hit save and shift refresh over here. And then we have this sort of gradient set of links and the logo down at the bottom as our footer. And it's in one central place, so in this one theme builder we can edit both our custom footer and our global footer very easily. So that is how you completely remove the footer from an entire Divi site and how you re-add a one-off footer to certain pages as needed. And so hopefully you found this helpful. If so, please feel free to like and subscribe and have a fantastic day. Cheers and thanks.